Okay! This isn't exactly a new feature, it is actually there since last September, but I'm not gonna apologize for the delay! Sorry! So, there is this box, and inside it has a Windows disk, and then a Linux disk, and then yet another Linux disk! And next we're gonna mount from within our Windows disk, a Linux partition! Ho! Oh, let's do this! The first thing to do is to open a terminal, and we have to open it with administrator privileges because we need an elevated PowerShell! The very next thing is to summon the Quake mode, just because it is cool! Which reminds me how GNOME has forgotten the meaning of fun! Then again, if we click it, nothing will happen? I guess Windows developers have forgotten the concept of programming! Oh well, you can't have both, can you? Now, we'll open PowerShell for mounting our Linux drives! But first let's see what disks we actually have! For that we gonna use WMI command, and say, disk drive, list, brief! And that will give us back a list with our connected disk drives! That's the Windows we are already using! And that's the Linux we want to mount! and basically is my Fedora with GNOME installation! And it has two partitions! The first is the boot and the second the root! So obviously we need to mount Fedora root! So next we're gonna say, WSL mount, and then we have to copy the device ID and paste it! And we want the second partition! By the way, the Windows CLI, awfully poof! Oops! And all failed? Hmm? See that zero at the end of the drive name? It should have been two! Windows actually copy and paste the wrong thing! But whatever! Let's continue like Windows don't suck on everything! So our drive is now mounted with this weird name, and we can physically find it under MNT and WSL directories! So it is time to go back to our Linux terminal, and after we supersize everything according to GNOME specifications, we can go on MNT, and WSL! and inside the mounted drive with a weird name, it is our Linux maybe? Let me double check, because you can never be sure with Windows! And I'm saying this as a compliment! All this agony and suspense, will it work? Will it fail? Not even Plasma doesn't give that thrill! But surprisingly we can see our files in our home directory without any more misfortunes! That is technically my home and my files, but I say ours for making you feel like a part of baby world world, and later take all your money! Which reminds me, that we can now access our Linux home directory from any Windows application we want, and not just from within WSL! Meanwhile, this is Community Files version 1.5, but on the next release there are dramatic changes, and I'm totally gonna review this file manager! For now the important thing is that we're finally home, and don't miss for anything in the world to buy the official Baby Woe pillow! I know! Perhaps the Baby Woe Corporation is richer than most of you, but that's exactly why you have to donate! Money goes to money, and Baby Woe will deposit later your funding to Amazon with happiness, and that's how this world spins! Oh me gee! This is some serious wisdom shamelessly shared and I could go on, but let's unmount instead, shall we? So, unmount is pretty much the same thing like the mount! WSL unmount, and the name of the drive! Oof! And of course it will fail! because the drive is currently on use! So, for start let's exit the mounted location from WSL! And next let's close the file manager! And finally we need to terminate the pillow too, and I got to be honest for you! I cancelled the previous recording because I couldn't find what was the problem, all because the stupid, yet cute, official baby woke pillow! So unmount was now executed correctly, and the one thing you should learn from this video is that we landed safely! And we landed before elementary 6 release, 